All right, I wanted to do a tutorial here showing you one of the techniques I used in designing the brick cottage. And uh, specifically, it's gonna be one tool that I really relied on heavily to create this design. And that's the thin extrude tool. So I'm gonna show you how I use that one tool to create the brick patterns here and also to create the windows and doors that you see here. If you recall, the thin extrude tool is a relatively new addition to Fusion 360 and it really does speed up your workflow. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I used it. And let's go uh, to this other design here because first we're gonna look at that brick pattern. And if you watched my last video, you saw that um, I talked about the overall approach here. And to create the brick pattern, I actually created a separate design that I brought in as a component to cut away the grout lines that you see here. So let's visit that design. And if you see that, I have this um, separate design here. Um, but to create that, all I did was, let me create a new design there, and I'm gonna create a sketch here on the ZX plane. I created a rectangle. Uh, I believe the dimensions I used were actually uh, 4.5 by 1.5, just going off um, what I looked online for dimensions of um, a brick and then uh, I basically just kind of scaled it down so I'm gonna I'm printing this actually really small so it's 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 like gonna be a really tiny model here I'm gonna create another one of those again 1.5 by 4.5 let's see and I want to line this up um, so what I can do is why don't we just grab a couple of collinear constraints here one for this line and one for this line here and I'll grab one more rectangle Again, 1.5 by 4.5 and this time I'll use a midpoint constraint between this bottom edge and this line here and now that I have this I'll simply uh, extrude it out so if for extrude I'm gonna choose thin extrude and I'm gonna select these three different outlines here now the important thing there is I'm not selecting the inside profiles I'm just selecting the outlines and you can do that with the thin extrude a wall thickness I went with 0.2 millimeters and distance with 0.4 and then I did a wall location of center. You're gonna see it's gonna move where that extrusion takes place. So that's now follows the center of that line. And that's it, I get one body with this pattern here. And then basically I took this pattern, if I go back to my finished design here, um, well, I take that one body and I pattern it. And here's the pattern that I made. You can see this is all using user parameters to allow me to come in and quickly change how tall or wide I want that my wall to be. But that was the basic approach I took to just create um, the pattern that I need to give me the brick texture here. Okay, the other part I wanna jump into is creating the door and window. So let me take this timeline here and I'm gonna go back right before the sketch. So, so right before I did the doors and windows and I'll create a sketch on the back here. Let me flip this around. And I'm gonna use my project tool just to project these uh, outlines. Choose this outline here, click OK, and let's untoggle that body. And here what I did was uh, basically a rectangle for the door. Let me create it here on the side. Um, I think I did 10 by seven maybe. And then an arc. Let's grab a three point arc under the create menu. Three point arc and I'll just create an arc here. Snap it to where it's tangent and then let's make this a construction line. And then let's grab our midpoint constraint to position this bottom edge here into the center here. And then let's go ahead and make a, a window. So let me just grab a rectangle tool. I believe I did uh, eight by eight. There's my window. And then I went ahead and used a tangent constraint to make this top edge tangent to this arc. And then this line is a whole segment here. I want to line up the middle of this edge to the bottom here. So let me draw another line just to uh, the edge to the door here. And then I'll grab a uh, vertical constraint here, hold shift, grab the midpoint. Uh, if you just approximate where that middle of that line is, you'll see that triangle and then do the same thing with that bottom here and it'll put it right on the midpoint there just aligning it and then I'm gonna go ahead and reference these midpoints of these lines here to just create this uh, this cross here okay and then one more window here I'm gonna grab my circle tool with C for center diameter circle uh, let's give this a seven millimeter diameter and then I'll use my vertical constraint to constrain this to the middle there of that roof line and then let's do a dimension between these two points here and maybe do 
uh, I forgot what I used, but eight millimeters looks good. Okay, we're gonna finish that sketch, bring in that body there, and then let's bring in that sketch so we can see it. And then at this point, just E4 extrude, select my um, thin extrude. I'm gonna select the circle, the square, and also these uh, the cross hatches there for the window framing. Um, the door here, I don't want it to select the bottom edge, so I'm gonna uncheck chaining, and then I will just check these segments. I'm gonna bring this out. This is two millimeters, um, and so I wanna go, uh, let's see, I wanna go 0.4 past this edge here, or the surface here of the bricks. So what I can do is I can say uh, negative uh, 2.4 and then do a join and that'll give me um, the distance I need. Another way to do that, I can go distance and uh, this is probably a better approach. Distance to object, click the object and then do an offset of negative four. I'm sorry, negative 0 0.4. Uh, no negative, 0 0.4. There you go. Okay, and then um, there we have it. Uh, one issue here, I see that this window looks a little off and I know why that is, um, but let me just click okay here. And we're gonna go back to that extrude feature. And the reason that's off is I didn't select the center here for my wall location. Um, I want it to be centered instead of one or the other side of the wall. So if I look at this straight on, you'll see that the blue line is censored now within the extrusion. So the extrusion um, symmetrically uh, extrudes on both sides. All right, I'm gonna just click okay to fix it. And now, so we have the uh, extrusion there that gives us the trim, but we can see that uh, we have uh, <laughs> the bricks there. So it doesn't really make for great windows and doors. And to extrude that part out, what I did was I created another sketch. So let me create a sketch here on the back of this wall. And again, we need to flip it. And what I'm going to do is project. So P for project, and I'm gonna project the outline here of these features to the other side. I'll click OK. You'll see I have that outline. Finish the sketch. And now I can simply extrude these out. So E for extrude. Select this, this, and then these four windows. And let's just take that arrow, go all the way through, distance all, click OK, and there we have it. And that's how I approach creating the windows and doors as well. So you can see the brick patterns and the windows and doors were all created with just the thin extrude tool. And it just makes that workflow uh, so much easier because you're only having to worry about creating the sketch and then thin extrude allows you to um, give it a thickness and then extrude that so you don't have to spend all this time creating closed profiles. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. And then to create the rest of this, I basically used the combination of the mirror tool and also just the, the move option, um, but selecting create a copy to go ahead and uh, move another section of the wall over. But that's it, I'm not gonna jump into that. I just wanted to show uh, this approach here, just keep this uh, tutorial focused on using the thin extrude tool and how you can use it to really quickly create some really neat features here. And in this case, creating all the brickwork and the windows and the doors here, just with the thin extrude tool. All right guys, hope you enjoy that. I'll be back in a few with uh, another tutorial or maybe another full-on project. Um, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. If you're looking to get started with Fusion 360, check out my courses below. I've got links to all sorts of good stuff. And if you wanna support this channel, consider becoming a Patreon. Uh, all the information is below. I'll see you in a bit.